Hey guys, I just wanted to show you what I've been working on. Actually, um, as you can see, uh, this is a cabinet that I built actually, um, I guess a few years ago, maybe three or four years ago. And I never had a chance to use it. Originally, this was going to be a PA cabinet, a two-way PA cabinet for a PA speaker. And as you can see, I have taken the GRS 12-inch woofer and I'm going to use it as a subwoofer for this cabinet. And the reason why I chose this cabinet is just because I don't have a 12 inch cabinet. That's um, I don't have a cabinet around around that is um, that fits a 12 inch woofer. The only one that I had was this. And again, this was designed for a PA speaker PA system. So I decided to um, just use this uh, cabinet as a subwoofer box for the moment. So what I did was I just put the GRS 12. Um, 12 inch woofer in here and I sealed the opening the opening right here was for the six by eight inch horn lens tweeter you know um, in pro speakers they have those large horn loaded tweeters so um, I covered the opening up with just a uh, MDF plate and it's been reinforced on the inside so there's no flex but I just needed to cover up that opening since I'm going to use this as a woofer cabinet and not a two-way cabinet so I just made this the other day and I reinforced the back so there's no flex and I sealed it around here I put some um um that foam sealing strip around it so it'd be airtight but yeah this is the only cabinet I had and again I made this years ago out of scrap plywood this is not MDF this is not an MDF cabinet it's made out of just scrap plywood from cabinets uh, I was, you know, working on some cabinets and repairing um, some flooring. And this is a plywood I have left over. And I believe it's a mix of different plywood. Actually, it's like half inch plywood and three quarter inch plywood. I believe this part is three quarters. This may be a half inch thick, half inch thick in the back. But the front and the bottom panels are three quarter inch plywood. And again, you know, it's not perfect because this is just a scrap uh, wood that I use I just create I just wanted to create you know just a simple box nothing fancy about it so I could just you know test a um, a PA driver and the horn tweeter so I decided you know this is all I had so I'm going to use this box just as a subwoofer so yeah you know I, I think it came out pretty good but I have to tell you this is really large I mean <laughs> if you look here's just an example um this is a CD, standard CD or DVD, DVD actually, but look at it. Look at that. So yeah, I'm gonna test it. I'm gonna run this with a 100 watt amplifier right here. I'm gonna use this amplifier. This is a um, 100 watt subwoofer amplifier. 100 watts at, I believe at four ohms and 70 watts at eight ohms. So actually this is an 8 ohm driver, so I'm going to be running only 70 watts out of here. But I want to see the difference. I want to see how this woofer perform under different wattage or different amplifiers. So this will be running only at 70 watts at 8 ohms. And I have another amplifier like this that is actually smaller. It's, it's 70 watts at 4 ohms and like 40 at 8. But this is a 100 watt one, so I'm going to try this one first to see how it sounds with a big amplifier. And again, I'm going to try it again with a smaller amplifier to show the difference. And again, this is a fairly large cabinet. I don't even know how many cubic feet it is. I, I'm, think, I'm thinking it's like 1.75. I'm just guessing. It's not, uh, I don't believe it's two cubic foot. It's like 1.5 or 1.75 in size. And that's pretty large, as you can see. Um, this is a subwoofer amplifier. So if you have one of these, you know how large this is. And you know how large a CD is. But you can see next to it, it's a pretty large cabinet. So yeah, I'm just curious to see how this sounds because I put it in a smaller cabinet as I mentioned in my last video um, two weeks ago. Like in a 0.75 cubic foot cabinet and there wasn't much bass. You know, it wasn't the bass that I was looking for or expected. So I put this in a large cabinet and I know that it's going to provide me with deeper bass response, more bass and more power handling. So I'm going to need a pretty large amplifier to run through this speaker. And that, what, that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this because this is a high power amplifier. I mean, it's put out enough power to run, you know, a 12 inch driver, 10 inch with plenty of power. 
and this is a large cabinet so it's gonna um take a little bit more power to run this driver so this should work fine and this i had this is a t amp you know right here this is only about 15 watts but i even think this is just 15 watts but it may be able to run it but i'm not going to use this i just have it right here but um, i'm not going to use it i'm going to use a subwoofer amplifier because i'm using this as a subwoofer now the cabinet and if i could show on the sides just a minute okay now this is a side view of it as you can see i have put a terminal plate this is a basic metal terminal plate that is used in pro drivers i actually took the screws out so um i actually was changing the crossover in it so i actually removed the crossover and i'm just going to let it run without a subwoofer crossover because i'm going to use the crossover that's in this um amplifier right here because this has a full crossover in it four octave crossover so i don't really need one inside this box i could put one if i if i could put a better crossover that's better than in the amp in here i could do that but um right now i'm not going to do that because it's a lot of work to design a crossover to work with this woofer so i'm just going to use the crossover that's in the amplifier and just run this without one right here in the box but again this is just a basic uh, metal plate i believe this is what five by seven that is used in a lot of pro speakers that you see and i have to hold this with one hand because it's going to tip over it's on the edge let's see yeah see well anyways um the cabinet is about 11 inches deep and it's 21 inches tall and 15 inches wide so that's um how big this cabinet is so yeah and um again this is not a heavy speaker because it's made out of plywood it looks heavy but if this was made out of mdf it would definitely um, be a lot heavier and it would sound better. So I'm not really focused on how it's going. I want to know how it sounds, but I know it's not going to sound its best because this is just plywood. Again, this is just basic plywood and it's not MDF. MDF is a lot denser and heavier. So you're going to get better sound when you make your cabinets out of MDF. But as a pro speaker or a pro cabinet, uh, this is what they use. They use plywood because it's very light. Because if, if you are in a band or a musician, you know you have to carry around your equipment wherever you go. You take your bass boxes with you, all your musical equipment and speaker equipment with you. And this speaker equipment have to be light in order for you to carry it around. Especially something like this. This is not that big. But uh, if this was made out of MDF, it probably would be at least 50 to 60 pounds. This probably weighs about um, 30 pounds, I would say, maybe. Maybe 30. Or it's about 25, I say. But if this was made out of MDF, this would be about um, 50 or 60 pounds with a PA you know, driver with a large magnet. And it's kind of hard to carry around boxes that weigh 60 to 80 or 100 pounds. And this is why in the pro audio world, they make them out of plywood so people could log them around and take them with them and perform you know not only that but also using a plywood cabinet gives off a different type of sound and, and that's the thing um and that's another reason why they you know use plywood and pa speakers because it gives off a different sound and this is how you get your live sound coming from your speakers where pa speakers sound live well it's because of the building material they use as well the plywood it gives off a different sound and you know you can look this up um it does and this is why i'm not too there we go and that's why i'm not really you know i don't believe it's going to have a kind of base that i'm looking for because the cabinet is plywood it's light but it's kind of solid it's really too light to be used for a subwoofer so um but again i just want to see how it sounds and i just want to see the power handling it has it a very handle. thick heavy rubber surround i mean this thing is thick and heavy and the problem with that is the dampering um it's going to take more power and it's going to make the driver less efficient this is why this driver is only 84 decibels in sensitivity or uh, spl is because of this rubber surround and this extremely thick cone i mean look at this you hear that look at that that is the thickest plastic and a rubber I have ever seen on a 12 inch driver. And this is why I said this is what solid built because when you have this heavy rubber surround like this, that is really thick and it's, I mean, it's really hard to push in and this thick um, plastic cone, it removes, you know, it, um, 
it, it really makes the cab it makes the driver less efficient so basically you have to have more wattage and more power it affects the dampering of the cabinets so you have to have more wattage and more power to run this driver or to make this cone the excursion of the cone go in and out because it's very heavy you have heavy mass and that's the key just remember um when you have large thick surrounding like this rubber surrounding and thick plastic cones that are heavy it adds mass to the driver and you're going to have to have more wattage to drive it's a large just cabinet. To the, and you have to move a lot of air in order to get good base response and also deep base response you have to move a lot of air so again this is like a semi large cabinet it's not the largest but it's larger than a standard cubic foot cabinet so that's going to help improve the base response and improve the because, power handling. um other drivers that are made with lighter rubber surround or even foam you know there's a lot of uh, speaker companies that use foam surrounding and the reason why they use foam is because um it makes the driver lighter it takes off the you know adds less mass makes it lighter and when you use a light cone the driver becomes more efficient so it's able to push more air back and forth it's able to push the air and it makes the driver a lot of a lot faster because it's less mass to push with the amplifier the amplifier has less to push because it's less mass so this is why you see, and it's more sensitive too and this is why you see a lot of drivers with foam surroundings and plat light plastic cones or even aluminum cones have a high sensitivity like 88 you know um, 88 decibels or even 91 or 90 decibels because the surrounding is really light but by using foam um, it rots you know it only lasts for about 10 years unless it's treated if it's treated form it may last maybe 15 or 20 years but if it's not treated foam it's foam is really light it's almost weightless so it's great to be used as a surrounding for a driver and the dampering is good as well but the trade-off is that it rots you know very easily and it tears but this was going to last you a very long time but the problem is it cuts down the sensitivity if this was made out of foam and made out of a lighter material maybe paper you would have a response of maybe 88 or 89 decibels from this 12 inch driver but since it's all so yeah i'm going to be working on this and i'm going to try to have it up and i'm um, running and give you guys a test to show you how it sounds and i'm not sure you know i made it where i could actually add a port this is a cell cabinet as you see but um i could put a hole in here put a port or i could remove this and make another plate where i could put a different size of port so this is really upgradable or I could just remove this and use it as a two-way speaker too. So I'm going to do that as well. I'm going to find the lens, the horn lens, and put it back in and use this driver with, as a two-way system. But for right now, I'm going to use it as a sub to see, just to give me an idea of how it sounds. And I may put a port in here. If it, you know, if the bass doesn't sound to the level that I want it to sound, I might make it port it, you know. And again, I, I built this cabinet where it can be used as a ported, um, cabinet given its uh, dimensions and its size and the way it's built so that's about it i hope you enjoyed this i know we're kind of long on this but i wanted to really explain you know how this driver was going to perform it in a cabinet like this and again this is it, you know this is just plywood i mean i would have preferred to use mdf but again this is just a scrap wood that i had lying around and i needed to make a large 12 inch um, pa cabinet and this is what i got so I hope you enjoy this and, you know, just leave your feedback in the comment section if you want me to, um, you know, to continue to work on this or if you want to hear how it sounds as a woofer or a subwoofer, just, you know, uh, send me a comment and let me know. Because I think I'm going to, you know, revert it back to a two-way speaker system, you know. I just want to see how this 12-inch woofer sounds and that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and now I'm going, okay? See you later. Goodbye.